What is good? We're back finally with the Madden 09 Giants franchise. For week three, we are going to be taking on the Cincinnati Bengals, who are 0 and 2, and it is not looking very good for them so far, which is surprising because they have some good pieces on offense. They got Carson Palmer, look at clean shaven Fitzpatrick, aka Fitz Magic. Kenny Watson's banged up, so Cedric Benson is going to be starting at running back. And yes, I did update the rosters a tiny bit. So, the, so it's a fairly accurate roster. See, they got Chad Johnson, a.k.a. Ocho Cinco, TJ Husmanzada, Chris Henry, Andre Caldwell, Jerome Simpson, all them dudes, Reggie Kelly at tight end, Levi Jones still there, Whitworth is a guard in this game, Andrew Whitworth, I think he's still playing with the Rams, he's old now, he's like old, old, but I think he's a tackle, I'm not sure. So yeah, they got a solid offense, but their defense is not very good. I think that's what the issue is with the Bengals, at least in this Madden 09 thing. But yeah, for the most part, I tried to make the uh, rosters a little more accurate, made some, like the free agent acquisitions and the trades that happened in 08, I tried to get those down. So that's why you see Cedric Benson on the Bengals instead of the Bears, I had to fix that, you know. Makes it accurate, because, I mean, it's accurate, you know, gotta make it, you know, I gotta make it look nice, you know. Anyway, the, enough of that. The Bengals start with the ball. First down, Carson Palmer's going to look to throw. TJ Husmanzada brings it in. And that'll move the chains right away. Now, handoff is to Cedric Benson. He's getting busy up the gut. Second down and four now. Handoff is to Benson once again, but that's not going to work out. We meet him in the backfield. Third down now. Palmer looking to throw. Going for Husmanzada again, but it's picked off by Aaron Ross. He jumped it. And Aaron Ross finally making his presence known because he got cooked by Torrey Holt last week and blew another coverage on top of that. First down, we hand the ball off to Brandon Jacobs. He runs a man over. He's still going. He's inside the 10-yard line. And Delta O'Neal, he's a little banged up from trying to hit Brandon Jacobs. He wasn't the one that got trucked, but still, he's hurt. First down, Jacobs gets the ball again down to about the three or the four. Second and goal. Hand off to Jacobs once again up the gut. We're just short of the end zone. So third and goal, what do you think we're going to do? And Delta O'Neal, he dislocated his shoulder. He is done for the day. But third and goal, who do you think we're giving the ball to? Mr. Brandon Jacobs, and he falls forward. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. First down now for the Bengals after we punch him in the mouth to start the game. They're going to find Reggie Kelly in the flats. Second down and five now. Palmer hands it off to Benson on the draw play. And Cedric Benson's going to pick up the first down and then some more. Now on first down, he's looking to hand it off to Benson again. Off tackle on the stretch play. And Benson's going to get another first down. So the Bengals are moving the ball pretty methodically. And they can move the ball. It's just a matter of will they. Second down and six, Palmer looking to throw. Gets it away. Benson drops it. He was wide open and he completely dropped that. Hit him in the hands too. That's terrible. Carson Palmer on third down going deep. TJ Hushmanzada brings it in and drags that second foot. Great catch by TJ Hushmanzada. First down draw play to Cedric Benson. He gets kind of lost in the sauce and he's going to fall down. Second down and 12. Palmer drops back. Taking a shot towards the end zone and that's my bad. I misplayed the ball with Dante Whitner and Chris Henry goes up and catches the ball for a touchdown. And Chris Henry is like 6'4", I believe, in this game and Whitner's 5'10", so that's a major disadvantage right here Sonoris Moss loses the football but our backup tight end Matthews recovers it so thank goodness for him Sonoris Moss you got bailed out first down Brandon Jacobs on the run pulls a man over and Brandon Jacobs takes off and Brandon Jacobs running down the field no one's going to catch him touchdown for the big man and this guy is 6'4 260 I believe that's what he was when he played Think of Derrick Henry if he was bigger, but not fast. Because Jacobs, he was really big and powerful. He was more powerful than Henry because, you know, he was a bigger guy. But he was not as fast. Like, Derrick Henry can outrun secondary defenders in the league nowadays. You see him. He's big, and he's actually surprisingly fast. He ran a 4-5 laser at the combine. And while I was saying all that, the Bengals went 3 and out. As you see, now we get the ball back. We give it to the big man, Jacobs, again. That's a first down for the Giants. He's really holding it down. Second down, Jacobs again runs through a tackle. He's going to be a little short of that first down marker, though. Third and two, we're actually going to throw the ball for the first time today, and it's the second quarter we haven't thrown a pass. And right here, Jonathan Joseph, he fooled me, man. I thought he was sitting, and as soon as I start to press circle, he drops with Plaxico and makes the play on the ball. But first down, Sam Madison's going to get the ball back. He picks off Carson Palmer. So we got going back the other way. First down, Jacobs. They're sitting on the counter. That didn't work. 
Second down and 12. Manning drops back looking to throw. He's going to look for Kevin Boss. He's going to find him. And that's going to move the ball a little closer to make it third and manageable. Third down now. Manning looking. Dumps it to Burris on the hitch. Easy, reliable, and that's a first down. And we're throwing again. Now we're getting a throwing rhythm going. Eli Manning finds Mario Manning in. And he's in the end zone. No, wait, no. They ruled him out of bounds. So I was like, no, time out. We got to challenge that because he looked like he got into me. Let's watch the replay. He catches it here. He turns up field. He looks like he's into me. I mean, what are y'all seeing? Look, he turns up field. And the ball's there, but it looked like the ball crossed the plane. That should be a touchdown. But the refs screw us over, and they say no touchdown, and it's first and goal on the one. So, yeah, they screwed us over. But you know what? It is what it is. First down and goal. Hand it to the big man, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. And, I mean, everybody's like, why would you challenge it? I mean, because that's what I also thought. I'm like, why would I challenge it when I got Brandon Jacobs from the one-yard line? Just hand it to him as an easy touchdown. Right here, Dante Whitner blows the coverage. That's why Tisha Hushmanzad is so wide open. It was cover two. Safety completely bites on the play fake, and Hushmanzad just runs down the field all by himself. Touchdown, Bengals. But back to what I was saying. Is even though I could punch it in with Jacobs anyway, Manningham, you know, he got in. I knew he was in, so I was going to challenge it. But you know what? It is what it is. We scored anyway. Right there, we find Mario Manningham for a big game. First down play action. Eli looking. And he's going to actually end up taking off of it. And look at Eli rumble. He's not fast, but he takes off. He gets a decent game before he dives down. Tried to slide, but I ended up diving forward. I'm about to learn how to slide with this guy at least because Manning's not a runner. He'll run maybe once a game if he's lucky. Second down and one after that run by Jacobs. Derek Ward gets it. Derek Ward, I don't know if he got that first down marker. He kind of spun back into the defense on that play. I didn't like that. Third and inches, we hand it to Jacobs, though, and he's got the first down, though. We're trying to get some points before the end of the first half. Play action. Manning looking. Dumps it to Imani Toomer on the curl. And Toomer's going to get a decent gain close to that first down marker. Second and one. Now Manning drops back. Looking for Mario Manningham. It sails just over his head. Third down and one, now we hand it to Jacobs. And Jacobs is going to be stopped short of the marker. So fourth and one, we have to call out John Carney for the field goal. He kicks it. The kick is up. The kick is good. So we kick to Cincinnati. They're going to try to get something going before the end of the half. First down. Palmer taking a shot down the field. It's picked off by Dante Wintner. And Dante Wintner's got going back the other way. He's up to about the 50. So now we got a chance for some more points. We got 27 seconds and two timeouts. We can do this. Manning looking. Finds Brandon Jacobs out of the backfield. Jacobs inside the 40. Stiff arms and Manning's knocked out of bounds. First down now. Manning drops back. Looking. And Eli throws. Finds Plaxico Burris. And that's going to be a completion. Timeout Giants. Another first down. Eli drops back. Locked in the Manningham. He's hit as he lets it go. But Manningham comes back to the ball. He's going to get a few yards on that. We call timeout. So I figure we need to take a shot to the end zone. We have no timeouts. Manning drops back. Takes a shot down the right side. And that's a touchdown. Eli to Plaxico. And that's what you got to do. Throw it up for the big man. He's six foot five, Super long arms. Just throw it up and let him make a play. That's what we've done each of the three games we've already played. At some point. First down, Brandon Jacobs running hard. And yes, we get the ball to start the second half. We defer to start the game. Second down, we're not going to get away from the middle linebacker right there. Third down now, Manning. I like the matchup with Tyree. Did not work. They knocked it away. Fourth down came up. We had the punt. First down, Cedric Benson on the run. Hurdles a man. Gets about eight yards on that run, but it's going to come back because Levi Jones was clipping, blocking people in the back. So make it first and 22. Spot 10 yards from the spot of the foul, which was two yards behind the line. That's why it's first and 22. Right there, they're going to find Cedric Benson on the check down route. Second down and 15, Carlson, Carson Palmer. I'm just going to call him Carlson, but his name is Carson. Right there, he dumps it to Chris Henry. Third down and six, Palmer drops back. Looking down the left side, finds Chad Johnson, a.k.a. Ocho Cinco. He makes the catch, but I was skeptical. And if you see the replay, you'll see why. He did not look like he got both his feet in bounds. A plus for effort. But he is not in bounds. See those feet? You'll see it right here. The left one, but nope, nope, nope. As soon as he made that catch, his feet were out of bounds. So we get the ball back. First down, Eli looking. Hit as he lets it go. Toomer makes the catch. Second down and six. Eli hands it off to Brandon Jacobs. He's going to get a couple yards. Third down again for the Giants. 
Handoff goes to Jacobs. Can he get it? Yes, he does. First down, New York. Right here. Try to get a stretch play going with Jacobs. They're sitting on it. It doesn't work. Second down and 11. Eli drops back. Looking to throw. Rolling to his legs. Flushed out. He's going to throw it away. No one's open. Third down and 11. Manning drops back. Eli to be specific. I always say Manning. I got to specify. I need to call him Eli when I make these videos. Sorry about that, y'all. First down, Derek Ward. Not going to get anything on that carry other than two yards. Manning play action. Taking a shot down the field for Plaxico. And it's not going to work. They were sitting on it. They didn't want to get beat deep. Third down, Eli looking to throw. Looking for Manningham. He's hit as he lets it go. And it's picked off by Jonathan Joseph. And he's got it going back the other way for Cincinnati. First down handoff is to Cedric Benson. We shut that down. Second down now for the Bengals. Palmer drops back. We send Phillips. He gets there. He hits Palmer as he lets it go. Almost picked up by O.C. newman -Yura. Third down and 11 now for the Bengals. Carson Palmer. Throws a strike to T.J. Huzmanzada. He's got the first down for the Bengals. First down now. Draw play to Cedric Benson. Makes a man miss. He's still going, man. He had me and James Butler completely fooled. Second down and seven. Carson Palmer. Pump fakes. Taking a shot to the end zone for his man. And TJ Houston thought tries to one hand catch it, and he almost did. It actually hit his hand. But he went with one hand and not two, so that's why he didn't bring it in. Third down, they take a shot deep down the sideline for Chad. Excuse me, that's not Chad Johnson, that's 15. That's Chris Henry, excuse me. Now fourth and seven. Palm drops back. Looking on the right side of the field. TJ Houston catches it, and he loses the football. And Dante Whitner recovers it. So we got to go back the other way. The Bengals thought they had a first down until they turned the ball over. Jacobs with the run, runs through a tackle, something we're going to see a lot of through this series. This year, the short run, the series, and the long run. Right here, Jacobs picks up the first down run. The football just lowering his shoulder, smash mouth football. That's what I like to see. That's what I wanted the team to really be built off of is Brandon Jacobs running and then, you know, get Derek Ward some action too, and even Ahmad Bradshaw. Second down after that nice catch by Toomer. Manningham makes a catch. That's a first down for the Giants. Now this is a handoff to Derek Ward. Getting skinny with it, but he's going to run right into a bangle. Second down, handoff goes to Jacobs, running to the right side. He's got the first down easily. And we are just eating up this clock, making it impossible for Cincinnati to get 17 points in the fourth quarter. Right here we find Toomer on the pass play. Nice completion, the clock still runs. Second down and two, Manning drops back. Eli to be specific. <laughs> Right here we find Kevin Boss. He's going to bring that in. First down for the Giants. Hand off to Derek Ward. Derek Ward makes a man miss. Nice juke move and spin move. He's inside the five-yard line. First down and goal. Brandon Jacobs going upfield. He's in the end zone again. Touchdown, Giants. He's really been holding it down this game. What a game for Brandon Jacobs. Palmer hit as he lets that go. He's going to find Chad Johnson. And Ocho Cinco breaks the tackle before he's brought down. First down, Palmer. Looking to the right side, TJ Hushmanzada brings that in. Move the chains for the Bengals. And that's exactly what they're going to do. TJ Hushmanzada, he has he's had a good game receiving yards wise. You know, we gave up that long bomb to him. That definitely inflated his stats. First down and 10, Palmer. Looking to the right side, now looking to the left in the middle. Finds his man. Oh, excuse me, I was starting to yawn. That's why it was a big pause. Right there, TJ Husmanzada cannot bring it in. Right here, Ahmad Bradshaw, yeah, our DBs got tired. So that's why Terrell Thomas was on Chad Johnson. I didn't like that matchup, and Ahmad Bradshaw was at free safety. We were just we just had to throw people out there. And they get the touchdown, the two-point conversion direct snap. They try an onside kick, and it fails, and that is going to be it. We get away. We beat the Bengals. We send them back to Cincinnati with a loss. Eli Manning, I'm okay with those numbers. We don't need him to throw for 500 yards every week. You know, we got the run game established. Brandon Jacobs, 165 yards, four touchdowns, six and a half yards to carry. I'll take it. That's what I like to see all day, every day. Manningham holding it down, Tumor. Mario Manningham, I'd say, has been the surprise of this franchise so far, the way he has stepped up into the role and assumed it, especially with Steve Smith going down early in week one. Cedric Benson, you know, he was... Effective to an extent, TJ Husmanzada was the better receiver. Surprisingly, I thought Chad Johnson was the best on that team. But Husmanzada was no slouch himself. He was not a bum. He was a solid player in his day. I saw him when I grew up. He was pretty solid. I thought he was underrated. But yeah, we were doing our thing. 
you know, we're starting to find a rhythm with this team. So, yeah, we could be doing some damage with this Giants franchise. Watch out. I'm out.